My name is Don Kripal. I'm currently Director of iDetect Services with the Capital Center for Credibility Assessment, C3A. Also a member of the Converis Technical Advisory Board for iDetect. I have 30 years of federal service, all of it in the credibility assessment arena, primarily in the area of polygraph, but more recently other technologies as well. Of the 30 years, the first 20 years were spent with the uh, Central Intelligence Agency as a polygraph examiner, researcher, and manager. And the last portion as Deputy Director for the National Center for Credibility Assessment, which is the government's center for research and edu education on all credibility assessment technologies. The first use of lie detection technology by the U.S. government was during World War II to screen German prisoners of war for law enforcement positions uh, following. Shortly thereafter, it was introduced with the Department of Energy to screen for potential security breaches and the handling of nuclear material and the development of uh, nuclear weapons. In the late 1940s, at least two intelligence services started using polygraph to screen employees and uh, applicants for their agencies. Since that time, the polygraph has grown in the U.S. government in its usage so that there are now 27, 27 federal polygraph programs and over 700 U.S. government certified polygraph examiners. They work in the area of counterintelligence, counter-narcotics, counter-insurgency, counter-terrorism, security and law enforcement. I was first introduced to the technology at that time called the ocular motor deception test in the early 2000s when I was uh, climbing Mount Rainier with Dr. Hacker and Dr. Kircher. It was an idea that they were formulating between the two of them and their interest was would the U.S. government be interested in this technology and I being a U.S. government uh, representative at the time doing research for the U.S. government, I had two questions for them. One, is it valid? And two, is it practical? And at that early stage, they suspected that it was going to become valid when their research was completed, and they did know that it was going to be practical based on the state of technology. In the subsequent research that followed over the next decade, they did in fact find out that it was valid. And through the development of engineers in the sensors and the display and in the protocol development, it has turned out to be quite practical. At that time, I was naive enough not to know what the, was involved in the technology and not knowing what the, what the state of the uh, research was. But I had great faith in Dr. Kircher because for the last 30 years, the U.S. government has relied very heavily on his research for the development of best practices among polygraph examiners in U.S. government programs. So there was reason to have faith in Dr. Kircher's judgment that this might turn out to be a very promising technology. For those agencies who have not yet had an opportunity to see the iDetect system, it's certainly worth your time to arrange a demonstration. 